On Monday, February 20th, 2023, an 85-year-old woman was walking her small dog near her home by the edge of a large pond, when sadly, a large alligator suddenly emerged and attempted to grab her pet. According to witnesses, the large reptile had captured the small dog, but as the woman, Gloria Surge, intervened, she fell and the alligator dragged her into the water. Despite a neighbor attempting to help, she died as a result of the attack. Her dog, however, survived the encounter. In a somewhat controversial move, which is the standard protocol, I believe, the alligator was captured by a trapper and euthanized. When you read comments about incidents like this, it is very common for people to express dismay that the animal was killed for, quote, doing what alligators do, and that it's humans who should be respectful of alligators that are in their own habitat. Alligator attacks are, of course, extremely rare. They are something people tend to hyperfixate on because the idea of being killed by an animal, especially a scaly reptile that a lot of people are afraid of, is very unnerving. More so than something like dying in a car crash, which is much more common. This is why exotic pets will get banned even when no fatalities have occurred, because even the mere thought that something like that might happen is something to make people take action. However, one thing people don't tend to think about is why alligator attacks are so rare. They all certainly have the capability, once they reach adult size, to kill humans. We have a relatively large surface area of land where alligators live in the United States. However, between the years of 1948 and 2021, there have been well under 500 unprovoked alligator attacks, and as far as fatal attacks, there's been a measly 15 deaths. Alligators were actually considered to be endangered in the 1960s due to excessive hunting. However, with increased protective efforts, their populations rebounded. So the fact that there are more gators in recent times might influence the slightly increased numbers of fatalities, along with our expanding population and increased habitat fragmentation. Yet they still rarely attack humans. This is despite the frequent occurrence of people approaching the edge of shallow freshwater bodies, or even swimming in it, something many people criticize Surge for doing, even though it's normal for people to engage in plenty of recreational activities in these areas that would put them in a similar vulnerable position. If alligators were truly interested in humans or were indiscriminate killers, we'd be seeing way more fatalities. The fact is that alligators do not normally see humans as prey. Most alligators fear humans and actively avoid them. Alligators also do not prefer to eat humans, and even in fatal attacks, they often do not consume them, abandoning their bodies intact. This can change, however. Animal species are not fixed in their behavior. We know that various animal populations have evolved around humans, becoming adapted to their presence. This is how dogs evolved. However, dogs were largely scavengers, while alligators, while mostly taking small prey, can also handle prey as large as deer. This domestication process is, ironically, what makes certain animals extremely dangerous. Alligators that fear humans are relatively safe to live amongst us, but wild alligators that are overly habituated to humans are far more likely to attack. This can occur when people feed alligators, causing them to associate approaching humans with the food reward. However, some populations of animals can evolve their preferences for certain prey. Cougars, for instance, have evolved to take larger prey in colder areas and smaller prey in tropical climates. Therefore, it's perfectly plausible that alligators can change their food preferences if we let them. Historically, people, of course, have sought to kill animals that have shown a propensity to kill humans. And in recent times, authorities will capture and euthanize such animals as bears, coyotes, mountain lions, and alligators if they kill a human in a food-motivated attack. However, if an animal like a bear kills someone because it is defending cubs, it will likely not be recommended to euthanize this animal, for it is acting out normal, healthy behavior and is not intended intentionally seeking to kill humans. However, wild living animals that are comfortable hunting humans, and oftentimes their pets, are dangerous. If they are not removed, not only are they likely to strike again, they can pass down their behavior genetically to their offspring. Therefore, they are culled. 
just as would be done with aggressive dogs. In this specific case, the alligator was clearly targeting Serge's dog, but the animal was bold enough that it didn't fear her and, in fact, redirected its prey instinct onto the woman, likely as she interfered with the alligator's hunt. While the alligator initially was hunting small prey, which is normal, its lack of fear of humans is why removing it was the right decision. We'd probably be seeing more fatalities from these animals if we didn't routinely do so. It's probable that someone was feeding the alligator, causing it to become habituated. Despite the claims that so-called wild animals are not domesticated, the fact that feeding them can result in these behavioral changes clearly shows that animals are not fixed in their behavior. It should be noted, however, that there are docile alligators that are kept as pets that do not present the same danger. There have also been no fatalities from pet alligators. This was a very sad, tragic situation that serves as a strong reminder that wild carnivores should never be fed or encouraged to become habituated to humans in any way.